Hello everyone, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day so far. I'm here to review another book, so another PS Does book reviews. I'm going to talk about this one, Beautiful Darkness by uh, Fabian v v Velman and uh, Keraquet. Um, the book was originally written in French, it was then translated. Uh, I think the authors are actually Canadian, at least one of the authors is. The original book was called... Where the hell is the... Joli Tenebre, Joli Tenebre. Uh, so it's an interesting book, um, especially if you want to discuss uh, the the meaning behind it with other people. Um, the storyline is is good. Uh, I, it has a lot of fantasy in it. Um, I'm gonna summarize it without giving many spoilers. Um, it's pretty much a whole set of characters that come out from this uh, dead girl that is found in the woods unexplicably. Um, and it's the interaction between all of these characters. The main character is trying to keep things together, uh, all the other characters safe, and the other characters are uh, not as well organized, or uh, that's not entirely true, there are some that are, but they disperse a lot, and uh, they can be... They all seem to portray certain aspects. Um, might be there are different aspects, different personality aspects of the same person overall. Maybe like all the personalities that uh, that the, the 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 child had inside her like leaked out of her, and they're like trying to survive out there after the child has been dead. Um, and it. it if it translates into being people and different people, at the end of the day, it feels like you can't really connect and uh, people will always either backstab you or betray you or uh, not live up to your expectations of them. So it's uh, a lot about connections between people um, and uh, a lot of things that you can reflect on uh, with relationships between people and between yourself, if the characters reflect parts of your own personality, how they can uh, snuff you, snuff the different character out of you. It's a bit hard to explain, but uh, those are the conclusions that I got out of it. There's a lot of things in the book that I didn't make sense even in the end. Um, I did like the story, as I mentioned. I did like the characters. Uh, the portrayal of them was also good. The drawings are really good. It's all watercolors. Um, the relationships with wild animals that I didn't quite understand the metaphor behind them. Um, the ending itself, I didn't quite understand the metaphor behind them, but it leaves you a lot of food for thought that you can uh, reflect upon and discuss with other people. Uh, the main book, I didn't like it because the more, the deeper you got into the storyline, it jumped around between different scenes, between the different characters, and what they were doing didn't really seem to have any meaning towards the end of the storyline, didn't seem to contribute anything. Um, so I was left unknowing exactly what the book was trying to explain. Uh, that might be personal preference. I do like challenging books, but I do expect them to meet you halfway with the reader and try to explain some things that help you reflect into the whole meaning behind the thing. So in that aspect, I think it, it, it didn't really meet me halfway. It just did their own thing and expect you to, you know, get something out of it. And... Um, the parallels that you get from it are interesting, but the main storyline as it is, for me, wasn't uh, that interesting. Um, so, yeah, but I had a lot of fun discussing it with my wife, at least, so uh, there's that, and I'm really curious to see what other reviews uh, say about the book, what the meaning they got out of the book. But other than that, I recommend for people who like uh, fantasy, uh, there's a lot of macabre in it, or macrobesque. Uh, stuff in it, um, characters driven to do things that are a bit hor horrific. So uh, if you don't like those things in comics, this is not for you. If you do like those things in comics, then this is definitely for you. Um, Some people compare it with, with Alice in Wonderland. I didn't really see it that way, but I guess 
in terms of fantasy of being a fantasy world i guess it is uh there's not much escape out of that um so yeah let me know what you think on the comments below if you've already uh, read the book if you haven't read it um curious to hear what your interpretations of the book were so yeah this is recommendation for today hope you're having a great day see you in the next video bye bye everyone take care